trackers. Bear Tracker Nature Films out here along the Eel River. And today I am looking at otter versus raccoon tracks. So here's a nice opportunity to look at them because they're right next to each other, side by side. And it's a good opportunity to compare them. So let's look at the otter track first. This one's a good example right here. You can see a very faint indication of a track here and here. Um, otters, I mean, excuse me, raccoons usually walk in a two by two walking gait with the tracks side by side. This, in this case, it's on a slope. So this gait is not forming up the way it usually does. But look at this raccoon track. So you have five long toes. They're connected to the palm pad. They're relatively narrow. The tips of them are not really fat or bulbous. The pad down here, it's, it's uh, got some difficult sunlight, but it's a fairly solid looking pad. It's not uh, broken up into lobes. Um, and so it's um, an overall kind of a, almost a V shape right there. Now you'll get that on the hind tracks of otters too, but sometimes you'll see that on um, raccoons, uh, particularly this track right here, because it's showing more of the heel. Now you don't always see the heel. Sometimes you'll actually see the whole heel of the hind track, which is a really nice treat, but don't predict uh, or don't uh, count on that because you won't always see that. So raccoon tracks right here next to otter tracks gives us a wonderful opportunity to compare. So here is an otter track, slightly larger than the raccoon. Here's the raccoon. There's the otter, a little bit wider. The toes are thicker, more bulbous at the tips. The claw marks are right in there. Um, and make the track look a little bit pointed. The toes look a little bit pointed on the otter track. This thumb right here is dropped further back in the track compared to this raccoon where they're all in kind of an arc. So the thumb being further back tells you that's the hind foot of the otter and this is the left hind because that's the inner toe. Now the pad here is not very clear but you kind of get that V shape a little bit but you don't see the whole thing. Let's go up here. There's a good front track right over here. Fairly good for this substrate. And you don't see all the toes, right? So here's the, the hind, there's the front, and then here's another pair over here. Now otters use a gate like this where the grouping might be one, two, one, or it might be two and two, because they usually use this kind of loping gate. So there's a group of four there, a group of four there, four there, and so on all the way back. Now these were made before the water dropped, but the gait is different. The normal gait of the otter versus the raccoon is different. So the gait can help you identify them. And uh, remember I talked about the pad. So back there, you couldn't see it, but here you can kind of see the pad shows lobes. A lobe here and here, 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 here. So there are lobes in it that you usually don't see in raccoon tracks when they're clear. So compare the lobed appearance of that pad to this raccoon, where it's more of just a straight C shape. It's not very lobed. There might be little bumps in there, but not, not a whole lot. So side by side, here's the otter and here's the raccoon. Notice the longer toes, they're thinner. These toes are kind of chubby, they're bulbous. The tips are pointed because the claws are right there. And the raccoon has finer claws, and its uh, foot looks a little bit more like a hand. Here's another otter for comparison. And sorry, these are sideways. We're on a slope here. So notice the very thick toes, uh, pointed in appearance. And here is a raccoon, again, for comparison. Side note, there's a gray fox right there, too. Cool, huh? All right, so that's just a couple of differences. Uh, they share the same habitat right along the river, and their tracks are similar in size. Same number of toes, both have five on the front, five on the hind, and uh, they both show claws. But the form of the feet is slightly different between the two species, and that can help you differentiate their tracks. There are going to be very difficult tracks that you just may not be able to confidently identify, and that's just part of tracking. It happens. So uh, just uh, enjoy, enjoy the process, and hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about the difference between otter and raccoon tracks today.